This is our cargo trailer to camper conversion that we affectionately call the rescue wagon. So we've put a whole lot of stuff on the outside of the rescue wagon because it's really small on the inside. And one of my favorite things that we did was we put a shelf on the outside, which then just gives me some more room inside for other things. Mm -hmm. We're gonna show you in this video how he put a shelf on the outside of the rescue wagon and how you can do it on your RV or your cargo camper conversion. If you've done anything really cool on your RV that you cannot live without and that has just made your life so much easier, comment below and share those ideas. Also, we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel and give us a like. If you wanna make a shelf like this, you need to get yourself some brackets that will lock into place. They're stainless steel. You can see those in the description below. Also some one by eight treated lumber, some deck over uh, deck treatment that you can put on here so that, so that will uh, not rot and they stay looking better. Uh, you will also need some self-tapping sheet metal screws, some half inch wood screws, and some aluminum channels that will run underneath to keep these boards firm and keep them from warping. First step is deciding how large you want your shelf and then cutting the lumber. I decided to measure mine based on where my studs were. So that's how I decided how long I wanted my shelf. The next step after you measure and cut your boards is to go ahead and paint them with what you're gonna use. We used Bare Deck Over from Home Depot. Uh, it puts a nice solid coating on things and it looks good and it's very, very durable. Next step you need to do is find your studs. Anytime you mount anything on the side of your camper, you wanna to try to get it into the stud so that it's as solid as it can be. What I did on this was actually just removed a couple of the screws that were already in there and then added uh, a couple of my own as well on both sides. And I put the long piece with the latches up under so that the latches were underneath and not on this side. I went for small here and long here because I wanted more shelf space. Once your boards are dry and you can put them on, I just put them on and used a half inch uh, wood screw to go up into, I uh, did two into this one and three into this one on both sides. So the last step is we wanna make sure that these boards don't warp and wood you know, in the heat will warp, especially when it's black. So I was able to get these stainless steel, I'm sorry, not stainless steel, aluminum channels in the stock area at Home Depot and just put several screws up through there, pre-drilled them and then put the screws in and it's held it very nice. The shelf outside of the rescue wagon is one of my favorite things because it does give us so much more space and it's so convenient. You can see I have room to put coffee pot, uh, cups, you can put other things out here. I oftentimes will keep a burner here so I can do some quick cooking if I need to. You still have even room for other things. So it does give you so much functionality and you don't have to take out a table and set up a table. You just quickly flip it up and when you're done, flip it down. So I love, love, love my shelf and I'm really thankful that we have it. This shelf gives us the opportunity to be free.